Auxiliary View Example 2 from the Auxiliary View Lecture Slides, page 22. So firstly we will need to decide what would be our main view. Now our main view is determined by the view that shows the shape the best, the one that's in the natural orientation, or the one with the longest base length. Now if we look at the dimension at the bottom left there close to the metric block that says 44, we would be tempted to think that that is the the longest length because the view from bottom right says 32 but we can actually use our trigonometric functions to determine the horizontal length of the inclined plane plus that 16 all the way at the top so if you add all of that together with the 8 from the inclined plane towards the left plus the 4 for the radius of the circle that means we get an answer, you'll have to use your calculator for that, of close to 50. It's 16 plus 33 um, cos 47 plus 8 plus 4. So if I did it right, it should get somewhere close to 50. So that means this view from the bottom right actually has the longest base length. But it also shows the shape the best. So I'm going to pick the one from the bottom right as my main view. And from there I'm going to project all the others. So main view. Then the inclined plane with the slot on it. I can do an auxiliary view of that towards the top left. And I can do a partial top view to show the little radius 6 cutout in the top. And I can do a partial left view to show that width of 24 and the radius right next to it, the radius 3 on either side. So I'll need the partial left view to show that. And I can do a bottom view or partial bottom view to show the bottom of the component and how the mounting holes would look. The hole in the back is not visible. But as you can see at the bottom of the question, it says 4 times diameter 4. So it means there are 4 holes in the bottom, so we can assume that though it's not visible, there is a hole in the background. So let's quickly do some drawing planning. I'll have a main view. Something like that. I'll have a partial top view. And I'll have a partial left hand view. And then lastly I will have my partial bottom view. I say partial because this little part would actually overhang over there but I'm not going to bother to show it because I'm detailing it in my top view. And then the last view to draw would be our auxiliary view of this inclined plane which will be projected straight out in that direction perpendicular to this face somewhere over there something like that good so now we have what we need to be able to start the actual drawing I'm going to start with my main view
So this thickness is given as 4. The thickness of here is also given as 4, so we can make sure that these two have the same thickness. But the thickness of here is given as 8. So we must just make sure that we show that correctly. Something like that. And then here in the background, we've got that little toe that sticks out. Now this line has to go all the way to that edge because of this flat plane that would cause that line. So even though there's a rounding there, this flat plane in front of that rounding would actually cause that line. Good, so that's our main view. There's the top view to show everything we see perpendicularly but then just after that I'm going to just break it off so that we know there is stuff over here but it is not perpendicular so I'm not going to draw it. Then we can do our auxiliary view which would lie somewhere over here perpendicular to this plane. I'm sketching just these lines so that my auxiliary view has to lie between those two lines. Th this width and that width should be the same. It's 17 from the top so it's almost in the middle. something like that remember now that we need to align these center lines with the drawing view something like that <clears throat> next we can do the left view should have the same width as the one in the question but we can't compare it to these widths because it's got the extra portion on the right hand side that's a bit too narrow So first I can transfer this distance, something like that, and then Good. I'm going to take this up just past the point where we're breaking it. Oh, sorry, we changes plane and then we can break it thereafter. And now, lastly, our bottom view.
Now, the details of this corner in the back is not shown, so I don't know if it will be sharp or rounded, but because all the other bottom corners were rounded, I'm going to assume this one rounded as well. Okay, circle, 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 circle. Now we can just quickly do the center lines. Something I need to check though is, are these circles on the same center as this outside radius? Now if you go to the question, the circle has a diameter of 4 and it says that it is 4 millimeters from the outside okay but it also says that the radius over here is a radius of 3 so this one is radius 2 that one is radius 3 this distance is 4 so the radius 3 will have a center over there and the little circle will be one millimeter further away. So that means we should not show these circles centers as if they were on the outside centers because that is not the case. The center would actually lie somewhere in there. Due to space and neatness constraints, I think I'm going to not show the center lines for the outside radii. Remember, if you have a small circle, you are allowed to show the center line just like that. Okay, good. Center line, center line, center line. Center line. That one center line is done already. Here we have a center line. Center line. Now, next thing to do is hidden detail. Remember, you only need to show each feature once. Oh yes, there's a center line in the background as well. Like that. This circle's hidden detail we can't show anywhere else but the main view, so I'm going to show it there. Hidden detail for this front hole. All the holes are the same diameter in the bottom, that's diameter 4 so I can show the hidden detail either in my left view or in my main view, just not in both of them quickly erase my construction lines And now we can add the dimensions as they were given in the question.